joined by Eddie Alvarez, who stars in the co-main event of UFC 188 against Gilbert Melendez this Saturday night, right here in Mexico City. How's Mexico been treating you so far? I came out here for the media tour about two or three months ago, and I was shocked because I, I thought I came out here in some hostile territory. I'm not Mexican, so um, I just thought I was going to be coming here not as a fan favorite, and I, I was mistaken. A lot of the fans watched me previously in a lot of my other fights, and a lot of them said they liked me more than Gilbert, so <laughs> I, was, I, I was surprised. So we haven't seen you in the Octagon in about nine months. What was that downtime like? It was necessary. I had uh, some issues going on with my, I had a baby after the uh, Cerrone fight and my baby was hospitalized and I kind of had to pull out. It was not like, uh, it was it was important. I'm, I'm a father and I'm a husband before, before I'm a fighter and um, I needed to step away from fighting for a little bit and get some things figured out and then come back when I can like fully focus. How is the baby doing now? Well, she's thriving and uh, everybody's happy. She's doing real well now. Me, my wife, even even the kids, everything settled down. We're back in Philadelphia again and I've been commuting, going back to Florida with the Black Zillions. Been away from home, but it allows me to focus and get ready in a way that that um, helps me you know, perform to the best of my ability. How have the Black Zillions helped you prepare for Gilbert Melendez? Our group of guys down in Florida, we have, uh, especially in the, in the featherweight and lightweight division, our smaller weights, it's a meat grinder, just like the UFC is. So um, that's, that's our deepest weight class down there. And we have, a, we have guys from all different styles who are dominant at everything. So uh, people ask me about, oh, you have ring rust because you, you haven't fought in eight, nine months. I fight every Tuesday with some of the best guys in the world. and. Um, I'm not the guy to take it easy. I, I want a real feel of what the fight's gonna be like. So uh, how I fight is a lot how I train. You, you don't get, it's not much different. And how have you been training? How do you see this fight going down? Gilbert, he, he's good. The things that he's good at, I just think I'm, I'm better at. I'm a better athlete than him, I'm faster, I'm stronger. Uh, he talks about like I have a better fighter IQ. I think he's making up categories that he can be better than me at. He can have the fighter IQ one. I don't. I don't want it. <laughs> but um, I think Saturday there's gonna be a lot of finding out, and his curiosity, you know, may, maybe bite him in the ass. This is a fight that he said he's been wanting for a long time. This is a fight MMA fans have been wanting for a very long time. Have you been looking forward to Gilbert Melendez as an opponent for a few years now? Yeah, when I when I signed with the UFC. I think I was more concerned with the matchup with Gilbert than I was at, at, with the title at the time. Like, uh, just because it was a build up, and I'm at a point in my career where I'm interested in just big matchups. I want big names in front of me, and I want to do spectacular things to these guys that they put in front of me. Start of the co main event, when you not only take a step back from your fight on Saturday, what's your thoughts about the lightweight division? For sure, there's no, there's no easy fights. But I, I don't ever look at the division as a whole. You don't need to beat every guy. You need to beat the guys that put, they put in front of you. Never this guy, that guy. Never wrote, That's never my concentration. Is that your mindset for this fight with Gil? It, it always is. You know, concentrating on what I'm good at. But uh, just more than anything, I'm going to take what he gives me. And if you don't give me anything, I'm, I'm going to create openings and exploit them openings myself. But either way, I'm, I'm going to get what I want. When he feels what my power um, and how hard I hit, He's going to shoot and scramble for my legs, and when he misses his shots and he can't take me down, he's going to waste a lot of energy, and now I'm going to put him away. Your first fight in the UFC was to Donald Cerrone, a very, very tough guy. What did you learn from that fight? I scaled back a little bit on my training more than I normally would. Throughout the training, I was really like having trouble putting my foot on the gas. I think the fights are always won or lost in a training camp, never, never the night of. Right. But now mentality-wise, you feel great. I feel excellent. I, was, I put my foot on the gas 100%. I gave this camp everything I could. I left my family. I sacrificed a ton. I deserve to win. And um, I'm going to go out there and be dominant on Saturday and uh, silence this Mexican crowd. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this fight. Best of luck to you, Eddie. Thank you.